Who's, who's the, the most prominent uh, musician in pop these days? Who would you say? Those of you who know popular culture. Lady Gaga. What's that? Lady Gaga. Just Lady Gaga. Gaga. Lady Gaga, I mean, she, is, she has become this mega, mega, mega star. But man, a lot of people hate her. <laughs> Anybody in here going, oh, gee, I just don't get it. Probably some, all right. But you see my point? She's willing to risk. She's wear, willing to wear a meat dress. Do you think that shocks Broca when she does that? Do you think you get to the prefrontal cortex with her and you make a decision one way or another? I would say yes. And my concern when I talk to small businesses that are advertising is that your ads are like everybody else's. Your marketing is like everybody else's. When people come into your showroom, you could change the name up above and it'd be exactly the same. You're, Bur you're being Burt Hinkler. When you need to be Charles Lindbergh. Does that give us something more? Okay. So we talked about what Broca loves, we talked about some examples. Surprising Broca is, we just talked about this, is risky. And then finally, love me, hate me, just don't ignore me. Love me, hate me, just don't ignore me. And I've experienced this firsthand. Go on Amazon and look at my uh, reader reviews for rooms. This is a best-selling novel. I've got like, I don't know, 110, over 110 five-star reviews. And I've got over 81 star reviews. People either love that book, and it's a bell curve, you know, it goes like this, hardly anybody in the middle. Either love it or hate it. And that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. All right. <clears throat> Moving on, skill number three. <clears throat> the power of sound. If advertisers can understand this, they can make huge breakthroughs in the success of their campaigns. I want you to look at your diagram of the Broca brain. I want you to look at that diagram. Remember I pointed out the area that's visual and the area that records sound? Notice on that diagram of the brain how much bigger the area for sound is than the area is for visual. It's simply the way we're made. Our minds retain sound to a much greater degree than they retain visual images. And that's why, ask a cop this sometime. If you know a cop or a detective, ask them. Do you put more validity in what people say they saw or what they heard? And the cops will tell you, it's more in what they heard, not what they saw. We simply have more brain cells to collect sound than we do sight. Let me give you an example of this. What's Motel 6's slogan? We'll leave the light on for you, okay. And why don't you just tell me Marriott's slogan, please? Come on, Marriott you know, spends 10 times the amount of money that Motel 6 does. Marriott slogan, somebody tell me Marriott slogan. Oh, come on. See the point? Marriott has spent millions more than Motel 6. And Motel 6 didn't have a big budget. They didn't have a lot of money for, they didn't have money for TV, so they picked radio, you know. The, the stepchild, they're gonna pick radio. But it's because they understood the power of sound. And they got Tom Baudet, this folksy voice. And does that voice surprise Broca? Absolutely yes. And then they use the power of sound and a catchy, we'll leave the light on for you. And it's embedded in everybody's brains. And here's Marriott. I don't know. I don't know what they're still doing. And it's just physiology. It's just simply the way our mind works. Will, are we ready with that clip? Yeah. So now I want to show a clip that was put together to illustrate the power of sound that I think it does, be it does better than uh, most presentations I've seen.
Don't you love that? Because you realize the difference between seeing that scene without sound and with sound is everything. Try it with a scary movie. Watch the scary movie with the sound off. Then put the sound on and close your eyes. And tell me which one is more scary. It's going to be just that music that they play. That's the power of sound, to stir emotion in your potential customers. And here's the other thing about sound. Sound cannot be filtered. We have this thing in our brain called the reticular activator, and it's simply a filter. And what this filter does is it filters out all these visual images coming at us. If we didn't have this filter, we'd be overwhelmed. And neurologists think that LSD basically takes down that filter, that reticular activator. So we're getting all these images at once and it's just overwhelming to us. We have to filter most of what we see out. And that's why you're driving your new Ford down the road and then all of a sudden that car is everywhere. But why didn't you notice it before? Because your reticular activator was filtering all that stuff out. But with sound, it's not filtered. And that's why, like it or not, you get those jingles in your head. If we sat down, every one of you on average could sing snippets or little sections of 2,100 songs or slogans. They're just in your brain. <laughs> but I guarantee you, you couldn't give me anywhere close to 2,100 slogans or headlines. Because it's just not the way we're wired. <clears throat> Gone with the wind. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Where were they standing when Rep gave that line to Scarlett? Anyways? Went out the door, anybody else? Top of the stairs? Bottom of the stairs? Okay, bottom of the stairs. We've got door, bottom of the stairs, anywhere else? Any other guesses? <clears throat> okay, what color dress was she wearing? <clears throat> Green? <laughs> okay. Green dress, anybody else? Red? Who said it was red? Okay, red dress? You see where I'm going with this, right? So it was the door. Very good, it wasn't at the bottom of the stairs. Most people say bottom of the stairs. And the dress is kind of a black, green, not a red. My point is, we remember the line, but visually, it's a little bit tougher for us. Yes? You can get an example. The city of Glendale in California painted all their fire engines. That's kind of green place. We found that they're having more accidents. So they went back to where the accident Interesting. They used to sing chartreuse on the fire truck. But somebody had told them that painting that color, because they would, people would notice it in the where our mind says we had a fire truck. Our, our mind was conditioned that way. Correct. Yeah. Wow, that's a great example. That's a great example. Um, okay. Real quickly, we're going to move on, just in the interest of time. <coughs> Websites. Everybody has a website, right? <clears throat> Websites are a business card on steroids. You have to have a website. And you have to have an effective website. You have to have a website that looks good. Because if you don't, people are going to get turned off right away. When you get a card from somebody, what do you immediately do? You go check out their website. Or their website slash blog. So suddenly, we have gone from brochures in a print-oriented culture to an internet-oriented culture. So websites are absolutely critical. 